Hello, good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of European markets uh, on the uh, Thursday, 23rd of June 2016. This is an end of day of market analysis prior to this uh, vote result tonight with regards to Brexit or not, Brexit or Bremain, okay? Now, the uh, please do visit tradesignal.com, signals and market updates from leading providers. Uh, you can certainly visit the website www.tradesignal.com and you can download the app on the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of the markets today, the market closed, certainly closed very bullish, almost 2% higher across the board in Europe and the FTSE up by 1.2%. The US markets initially closed, uh, started off weak but certainly have gathered, uh, gathered pace and certainly have pushed higher. In terms of Asian markets, the Nikkei, uh, sorry, the Shanghai finished negative, but the Nikkei and Hang Seng, uh, Hang Seng certainly positive. Okay, so again, let's try and decipher exactly what's happening here. Now, overall, uh, EU data today was net net negative. Uh, French data weak, Italian strong, German mixed, and EU data overall net net negative. Okay, so therefore bearish buys from there. In terms of uh, the US markets, we had mixed data again. Uh, Chicago Fed negative initial jobless claims continuous continuing jobless claims certainly coming in positive market PMI coming in positive and the um, CB leading indicator coming in negative new home sales negative so mixed have set of data where your jobs were strong but new home sales certainly weak okay so overall a neutral stance there to a large extent uh, and obviously Brexit concerns dominate so that therefore you are expecting the US dollar to certainly catch a bid but that isn't the case at present now let's bring up the chart the US dollar for you okay so US dollar at present on the daily chart certainly has put in a bottoming tail though certainly has put in a bottoming tail potentially looking to move higher okay uh, the four hour chart at the moment certainly is hanging on to that potential support zone below okay so you say have a support zone there, certainly att attempting to cling on to that. So again, all eyes on there. 60 minute chart at the moment, you have an unfilled gap here and then an unfilled gap above at 124, 124.8. So again, all eyes on there in terms of the next potential move. Okay, right. In terms of the US dollar then, let's just bring up the US dollar chart for you. Uh, okay, in terms of the uh, commodities, let's look at the commodities as well. Let's bring up the chart of copper. Copper certainly st continues its rally. It doesn't. It's not stopping there at all. I mean, we are approaching the 200 MA, so certainly a resistance zone. Uh, certainly fast approaching in terms of copper. We'll keep a cap on it in terms of uh, technicals, but the, the move itself has been very, very impressive. Very, very impressive. And again, if that's to, uh, on the back of uh, uh, concerns being alleviated from Brexit, it is okay it certainly is so again you have to respect that uh, again gold market is certainly moving lower or holding that resistance zone above still surprised gold gold hasn't caught a bid given the fact that you've got uncertainty going into this vote and oil prices at the moment certainly remain weak okay certainly push it held resistance you do have the case for a potential h and s though so certainly watch out for that and again horizontal resistance on oil certainly has held okay so keep an eye out for that as well folks okay in the daily chart you can see it's an inside bar at the moment no real uh, conviction higher okay in terms of oil oil commodities certainly all coming into resistance now let's bring up the chart of the aussie uh, the aussie itself certainly is into resistance as well if you bring up the weekly chart of the aussie uh, you can certainly see on the daily sorry if you look at the daily chart you are into that fib uh, 75 percent and you are into previous support equals resistance so certainly looking for weakness on the aussie here at present especially with the dollar index certainly holding going into the uncertainty with regards to this potential brexit the uh, kiwi hasn't made a uh, higher high yet and nor has it retested the previous highs so is certainly weak and the weekly chart is into that previous support equals resistance zone okay so certainly indicating risk off uh, and a risk off tone here certainly looking for weaker prices okay in terms of the uh, Shanghai then, Shanghai certainly still in, trading inside, no real uh, obviously conviction or move higher. The Nikkei as well at the moment, we're currently trading on the Nikkei, trading around the 16,486, okay. So again, your gap fill is around 16,600, so we're not too far from gap fill. So the Nikkei certainly is coming into resistance now on the uh, in terms of the market itself so again watch out for that potential resistance zone okay uh, so again the economic data certainly is mixed although european data was certainly weak so let's see exactly where we are in terms of european markets okay 
Uh, let's bring up the daily chart first of all. Daily chart of the S&P 350 Europe certainly held on to uh, 200 MA. Uh, certainly putting a topping tail as well, so therefore bearish. Okay, held on to the resistance zone up here again. Certainly bearish from my perspective, and looking to move lower. Okay, 10 minute chart. You have an unfilled gap below. Okay, so you have this unfilled gap down here. Okay, so certainly looking to potentially move lower, and then you have this HNS formation as well. So left shoulder, head. Okay, you, you're putting in this right shoulder, and then there, down you go. So from my perspective, certainly bias is bearish. You're into that right shoulder, and looking for a flush going towards the uh, potential market close. So again, it'll be interesting to see how these European markets close. But for now, certainly is uh, into uh, potential uh, resistance. Okay, so watch out for this zone here. Okay, on the uh, European stock. So certainly looking for a move lower on the back of this HNS formation. Okay, so certainly looking for weakness in European indices. Okay, okay. Now let's look at the um, German DAX. German DAX again putting a topping tail. Diagonal trend line has held. Gap fill resistance held. Okay, certainly looking at horizontal resistance held, and therefore looking for a move lower and a flush lower. 60-minute chart of the German DAX. Again, I was expecting a breakdown of this channel. Obviously, that has not occurred. We've closed this gap here as well. The last gap that was technically needed to close was the 10,287. We've certainly closed that gap as well. Obviously, you've got horizontal resistance, which has held, and then the resistance up here. Okay, so again, looking for a bearish pattern to be play, to play out here. So again, same type of formation. Okay, looking for that HNS formation. Uh, and certainly looking for that to move lower. Okay, so again, HNS formation, left shoulder here, head obviously has been put here. Looking for a retrace, right shoulder, then obviously selling off. Okay, so again, looking for a bearish pattern to play out. Okay, again, HNS formation of German DAX, we're into R3, RSI over sold, overbought, and again, looking for a move lower. 10 minute chart certainly does show, depict that as well, very clearly. So let me just clean up my chart here. And again, you're looking at uh, potential support and resistance zones here. Uh, again, you have the unfilled gap that you need to target below. So looking for that gap to close. Take your pivot low from here. Connect it across. And you have the left shoulder. Then you have the head, which is double top. Right shoulder is going in. Okay. And again, looking for weakness. So take the pivot high. Take it to the pivot low. You're into that fib uh, resistance or fib support. Uh, previous support equals resistance so again this is zone here at 10 to 50 solid solid resistance on the uh, on the german dax okay so again looking for lower prices okay folks certainly looking for lower prices in terms of the um, the actual uh, alternative markets which is a french cac again looking for the right shoulder looking to short this market i certainly started to short this market and, and looking for a move lower on the um, on the actual uh, CAC currently minus 20 at the moment my shorts uh, started to short this market from the 4450 zone and looking for a move low for gap fill below but the market certainly is continuing its short squeeze higher so again certainly an impressive move okay I did expect 4462 to 4450 to hold as previous support equals resistance but we uh, certainly smashed through it very impressively okay so again needs to be respected for now okay and looking for weakness okay on the french cac too okay let's bring up the FTSE 100 FTSE 100 chart on the daily at the moment the daily really has has uh, really in the daily chart you don't really have anything in terms of resistance other than the 6430 zone above as a potential resistance but the weekly chart certainly does so we're working off the larger time frames and the weekly chart is certainly indicating to me that you have solid resistance here at the 10 6380 zone and therefore looking for a bearish bias okay so again looking for weak weakness on the FTSE the 60 minute chart of the FTSE same type of formation HNS formation again so watch out for that and the 10 minute chart you can clearly see we have this HNS formation the right shoulder is going in at the moment previous support equals resistance here as well so you are looking at solid resistance around the 6340 zone and therefore you are looking for a move lower okay so again looking for this hns to play out so again hns tops looking for weaknesses okay and the uh, european markets okay so again right shoulders going in here and then looking for a move lower okay so again european markets certainly putting in potential hns tops looking for a reversal 
looking for a move lower okay looking for buys to be bearish on european indices that's my summation be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of that 25 percent bonus offer goodbye now folks